I'm Jana Huisman. Um, I'm originally from the Netherlands, but I study in Germany. I do physics uh, as an undergrad, and um, I'm this year's Young Ambassador for Photonics Education, appointed by Photonics 21 and the European Commission. Um, I'm also an observer on the group of young advisors to the Digital Agenda for Europe, also a recent appointment. The primary job description is that um, I will be visiting three different research institutes uh, for a period of maybe three to four days uh, in the coming year, um, seeing what kind of research they do there, what kind of education they do there uh, in the area of photonics, and then writing something about it for the website of Photonics 21, and it will also be published on the website of sbieoptics.org. Young people are the people you are actually doing this for because they're the ones who will go into the jobs you have now, basically, and who will um, eventually uh, take over the world. <laughs> um, they're the ones who have to live with the dishes the decisions we're making now and the areas we're putting money in and the areas we're actually supporting actively. Um, and then I also think that young people have this intrinsic motivation, this curiosity about the world and a lot of this energy can be put to good use um, when you're involving uh, young people in active decision making. It's, it's very nice to actually think about all the implications and uh, what you would really like to do. I'm very happy to have found optics and photonics as something I'm interested in right. um, and then trying to, to narrow down all the possibilities, all the things that I could be doing in that field. What I particularly like is that there's so many applications but um, for me the interaction between light and matter is a very dynamic part of physics. I'm a physicist uh, so um, there's that, and the fact that light has so much to do with, um, with life, basically. Um, light has to do with life, and so you've got biomedical applications and so on. But um, the fact that it carries energy brings in, in whole new, a whole new area of, of applications. You have to find what's really inspiring to you, what you're passionate about, and then just try to work your way in that direction. Just see uh, which people are working in that field, which organization are, organizations are in that field, and what you can contribute to that. Um, and then do not be afraid of being different than everybody else. Um, it's good to keep asking the question, why has nobody else done it before? But then if the answer is, we don't know, then just don't be afraid to do it. Um, that's where you have young people for, that's where innovation comes from. And um, I think a lot of pressure is on making choices, making decisions, making your life's decision and actually planning out your career path. It's crazy to do that. Um, everybody you talk to, they'll say, there were certain points in my career where I hadn't really planned on doing this, but it happened. And um, I was just in a career panel the other day where someone said, um, fortune favors the prepared mind. So a lot of these things that actually shape what you're going to do and what you want to move in is, is just fortune. Something happens, you meet someone interesting or you discover something you would want to work on, but it helps to keep on evaluating what do I want to do. In this global world, you need a global organization to get in all different perspectives. People from different cultures, different backgrounds, they have different problems they want to see solved, but they also have different ways of getting to those problems and actually working at them. The more different people you have, all with the same goal, but all with different backgrounds, getting at something, I think that uh, provides the most uh, useful work um, work environment. People who have chosen this field because they're interested in it, um, they can share that with other people very effectively. And um, through sharing your own passion about a certain subject, um, you both make it more relatable to the people uh, who, are, who you're sharing with, and um, you might even motivate them to come into your field. 
And I think that's very important to um, motivate other people and tell them um, what optics and photonics is all about so they can relate to it and even get motivated to do something with it themselves. And if you do not have these ambassadors of photonics or of other sciences, then um, how are the young students in high schools and middle schools and even primary schools supposed to know there's anything like that out there and, and that they might be interested in it and that they might shape the future of where this field is going? Um, so I think in all steps along the way, it's very important to have outreach and to actually look back at the people who are supposed to be helping you and following you up within the field and keep them interested, bait them in.